Jesus Christ calls us to open our hearts to his love that makes us. Tuesday of the 15th week of Ordinary Time. This talk and meditation is prepared by Father Jeremy Hamiarimana. First reading. If you don't believe, you won't survive. Reading the book of Isaiah 7, 1 through 9. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Razim, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shir Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care, you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let your courage fail before these two stumps of smoldering brands and blazing anger of Razin and the Arameans, and of the son Remaliah, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah plot against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder. Make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabil king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand. It shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Racine is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah son, the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 47 God upholds the city forever. Great is the Lord, and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned is he as a stronghold. For lo, the king assembled, they come on together. They are, they also see, and at once are stunned, terrified, rooted. Quaking seizes them, their anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east was shattering ships of Tarshish. Alleluia. Psalm 95, 8. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Gospel. Judgment Day will be more bearable to Tyre and Sodom and Sodom than you. Reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew eleven twenty to 24 Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done. Since they had not repented, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would along ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more terrible for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the, if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained, remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more terrible for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord Dear brothers, Today Jesus Christ, the Lord of life and death, presents himself to keep us sanctified by his word. In the first reading, Jesus Christ presents us as models to Isaiah, sent on a mission to those who received him, to the king of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. 
Jerusalem was about to be taken by the enemies who had sown fear, filled with fear, the inhabitants of Jerusalem were not going to fight. But the Lord sent Isaiah to encourage them by increasing their faith in the Lord's strength. Isaiah obeyed and went. The city of Jerusalem received him well and was saved. Jesus Christ is sending us today to people desperate for different causes, sickness, unemployment, hatred, poverty, war, hunger, and all vices. Jesus Christ sends us to encourage, sends us to lift up, to encourage those who have not yet fallen to follow the path of holiness and those who have already fallen to rise, walk, and trust. Shall we listen to Jesus Christ? He sends us to repeat to all his words, Fear not, I have overcome the world. I will protect you. I am the bread of life. I will nourish you. I am the healing of the sick. I will heal you. I am the resurrection. You will not die. I am the good shepherd. I will take care of you. Proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ raises not only one person but an entire city. The good news, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it has strength. It is the strength of living. It is the resurrection of the dead. It is the news that deserves a proclamation. This person is full of fear that Jesus Christ will defend him. Fear not. Trust in Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ. Imitate Jesus Christ, generation, and all will be well. Because like fish, the first, like finish, the first reading. If you don't believe, you won't survive. Faith in Jesus Christ must be encouraged. People in faith in Jesus Christ, generation, to believe and live. It's urgent. It's the good news of salvation. Those who receive Isaiah in Jerusalem, listen to him. How many times did Jesus Christ counsel us and ignore him? How many times have we solved our problems from your word? How many times have we been inspired by the gospel of Jesus Christ to resolve our conflicts? How many times do we ask Jesus Christ for counsel in the face of difficulty? We must ask for the grace to welcome Jesus Christ, who warns us, who prophesies before us, so that we can meet you. He speaks to us for the priest, the prophets of today, all who proclaim Jesus, Jesus Christ, and to see himself who sends them. And how have we received them? May Jesus Christ give us the strength to receive his witnesses, his envoys, with love. And to listen to them in the name of Jesus Christ. If not, we'll be like Jesus Christ. He himself warns us in the gospel. And though, Capernaum, are you going to climb heaven? You'll go down to hell. Because if miracles have been done in Sodom, that in you would have lasted until today. I tell you that the day of judgment will be more bearable to Sodom than to you. The truth is that we have seen many miracles. The fact of being alive is already a miracle, and every day we see many miracles. But the greatest miracle is the Mass that has been celebrated for 20 centuries. May the Eucharist last in the time is a miracle. It is faith, faith that is passed down from generation to generation. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What do we do about Mass? What do we make of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist? May Jesus Christ give us the gift of the Holy Ghost to help us head, heed, obey Jesus Christ, follow him, convert us. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Dear brother of Jesus Christ, sanctify us.